Now, in many developing countries then and now, it is not unusual for governments to play a direct role in stimulating economic activities. Because the private sector may not be so well developed, so the line between business and government is not always clearly defined. But the founding leaders in Singapore felt we should do things differently. Dr. Goh Keng Sui, our first Minister for Finance, once warned of the common pitfall in many countries where politicians and civil servants all think they can excel at entrepreneurial functions. He called this a tragic illusion. Tragic because all state-owned enterprises start off with the best of intentions, but then along the way, they end up losing sight of commercial and market discipline and become bloated, inefficient and wasteful. Now, to be clear, we had an excellent economics team in the government then. Ministers like Dr. Goh, Mr. Hon Sui Sen, Mr. Lim Kin San. But they were humble enough to see the limits of what the government should do and wise enough to embrace market principles and market dynamism. They felt that the government needed to do something to ourselves to resist the temptation of running companies on our own and avoid the same mistakes we have seen others make. And so Tamasic was set up under those circumstances to take over and own the companies and manage them on strict commercial principles. The companies would then operate on an arm's length basis from the government. And this means the government should not be leaning on companies for favours, but importantly, neither should the companies be asking the government for special treatment. And indeed, that's how we have been operating our system in Singapore for the last 50 years. Today, Tamasic has become an institution synonymous with Singapore's success. Your evolution mirrors our own nation's journey. Your achievements are a reflection of the same resilience, adaptability and strength, which is to continually strive for excellence, ceaselessly innovate and build for the future. 